Well, good day. This is your favourite flat earther here, flat earth Aussie <coughs> Roscoe. Now <laughs> we had to dump the Jesus because um after this coronavirus and everything came out, um, can we get even? <laughs> of course, we can trust Jesus. <laughs> You know, that's just my sense of humour. It's a little bit, um, wacky. I've never been a doubter of the existence of Jesus and the ability of his teachings to advance us in our existing knowledge of how we too may be striving towards Christ consciousness and therefore eternal life or, you know, immortality. That's pretty much what he was trying to teach us. That's what a Christ conscious seeker is all about. Now of course we do accept there is the possibility of mortal death. That could happen at any second. Whether it does or doesn't matters not to the Christ conscious person. So anyway, now that I'm flat earth, Aussie Roscoe, I'm pretty sure there's a song in that somewhere. Um, I did prepare something a little bit earlier, but I'm thinking of some other variables that I should add to as well. There they are over there. So I'm going to use the same method I used some years ago when my son with his partner we all went out for a walk, it was in the mid middle of winter when we did it and we walked up the hill on a full moon night, tonight is a full moon night it is it's already 8pm I was hoping to start this a little bit earlier but you know daylight savings and stuff it's going to take a little while to get going so what we did last time and I'll grab them, I've still got this device on the charger, so I'm going to try and get as much charge into it as I possibly can before I get started. Is I've got a tin. I'm thinking this time I'll just take the entire tin, pretty much in a bag by my side, so none of the temperatures are going to be affected by what's in my pocket whatsoever. And inside the easily open with one hand tin is four casters. Coasters. Casters? I have freaking hair in my mouth. If I get that out, I'll be happy. Right, so, four coasters, all the same, all identical. Cork on one side, hard plastic on the other. The intentions is what I'll do as I set out on my walk is to put one that side up and one that side up in the moonlight and obviously vice versa the other in the moon shade now the moon shade thing it could have been a slight variable in the last time we did the experiment in that I just did it in the shade of a tree and of course the tree is composed of branches and um, in some cases leaves in other cases pine needles <laughs> So it does allow some moonlight to get through, so it's not going to be as accurate. But there's a massive, massive tree out the front of my house here, which I'm thinking maybe that's the best variable. And I thought, well, let's do something more than just coasters. Let's try something. And I thought, what comes naturally to me, well, uh, you know, beer. Um, couldn't come more naturally so what I'm thinking is though because the ones I brew myself even they could have variables and I'm not going to go and stick four of them out in the bloody moonlight or two in the moonlight and two in the moonshade just in case so what I will do is instead I'll use a constant 
because you know science is all about using a constant and this <laughs> style of beer is I do actually have two of these in the fridge in exactly the same conditions they're still in the cardboard packaging no less and I'm going to take two of those with me I'm going to put one where it shall be left in direct full moonlight that uh, did I mention that yet the moon was full on this date the 8th of the 4th so this is a day of fate 4 and 8 is a day of fate as always and ever that shall be um, so I'll take one and leave it where it will be left in direct moonlight I'll leave one where it shall be left in direct moon shade in the exact same environment apart from being lit by the moon and insulated from the moonlight by the shade of a very large tree so they'll be in exactly the same location otherwise apart from those two variables and then I shall walk my dog down the road with my laser thermometer taking various temperatures just of the road and so forth and as I've done I have done this dozens of times and I can assure you <laughs> it's always colder in the direct moonlight but <laughs> before the flat earthers start jumping up and down saying see I told you moonlight is a cooling light I've done this experiment dozens of times the moonlight has a cooling effect I agree there but it is not a cool light on the coldest of the winter nights which is not winter now it's only April it's only autumn we've just come into autumn here in Australia and where I live happens to be quite temperate so we won't even have close to winter for a couple more months so you know I'll be going barefoot don't you worry about that I might have to put a different set of pants on though simply so I have some enough pockets to carry the the laser thermometer the coasters the beers the dog the camera because I'm going to try and record this um, hopefully it will work I, it, I'll probably have to upload it as two videos so this would be part one and hopefully hopefully cross the fingers and hope to stay alive <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to record it in one take because this device I'm filming with now is the only device that saves video for me but it does not sync up with the computer so I can't just sort of load it all up and try and edit it into one video basically I can't really even edit hence why everything you see I do is just one take so let it be as it be in fact I think that's better it's probably far better far more authentic for all the skeptics out there to see everything in one take and see there's no editing whatsoever and um, it's quite possible that it will time out in between takes while I'm gone and so it'll have to be parts two three and whatever who knows sometimes when I pause it and it stays in my pocket and nothing gets touched accidentally because it's a touch screen uh, sometimes I can just press record again and it will keep recording from where I paused it I'll try that even with this but you know my luck with videos and how much I've lost stuff over the years um, can't say why I was not not, not as though I'm into conspiracies or anything that anybody would want to 
hack my technology and but my 5G phone oh yeah it's over on the other charger um, my, my new 5G phone the Samsung Galaxy S10 um, I can't even take photographs with it anymore without losing the photograph within a couple of hours you know when I come home of an evening and think oh yeah some of these were good pictures I'm gonna upload them on the Facebook um, they're not even there anymore just that you know that gray screen with that circle and an exclamation mark in it saying a file error but if I upload them immediately to Facebook they work just fine so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm not paranoid you know there's paranoid conspiracy theorists and there's cool calm and casual collected conspiracy theorists and come what may you know, I've lost so much data over the years. If I was going to stress out about it, I'd probably have a actually I did have an aneurysm one time. But I don't have a brain tumor. <laughs> There's a lot of people now going on and on about the brain tumor thingy. Ah, yeah. Okay. Wow. You people are the tumour. If you're not attacking me, not getting into my head at night while I'm asleep, you're not the tumour. You're part of the cure. The cure is to just be cool, calm and collected. Don't judge me. I'm just a dude, man. I'm just a guy looking for the truth. I've got nothing to take from you, to harm you, to affect you in any way shape or form whatsoever I'm just looking for the truth and so far as I'm concerned the truth is what sets you free now if you're afraid of the truth and you have to attack me because of that then you are part of this tumor in my head in this part of my psychosis I don't know part of my who I am, who I am, it's, it's not even in my head, but in a sense it is, I guess, because where else is it, is it in my gut, then you're um, stomach cancer, but uh, yeah, when there's these things in my head attacking me, simply because of things that I've tried to reveal, to tell the truth, then you are a tumour not just to this little coconut but to society you know, we are all in this together we are one we are humanity we are varied and different and just as every cell of our body has its role to play, its purpose to serve, its thing to do. If they stop working together, they are a disease. And so if you are working against me, then you are trying to build a tumour in my head, which I don't want, I don't need. It serves no purpose. I'm not going to cut it out with a knife or get a surgeon to. I'm just going to defeat it with positive thought as I do everything. So, by this stage I think my cameras are about ready to start recording. I'll go and take two beers out of the fridge so they're both exactly the same temperature. Put one in the cold next to two coasters one the right side up, one the other side up, <laughs> left side up. <laughs> if it's not right, it's what's left, isn't it? Um, and then I'll go and do the same. In fact, I'll do them all directly out the front of my house. There is a little bit of street light nearby, but it doesn't really affect directly where I'm at. And as I've said to people before, 
that strongly believe in the moonlight temperature tests try doing the exact same tests on a moonless night which whatever variable you use whether it be a glass of water or a variety of coasters with different sides to detect different temperatures some will react to the cold far more say so I'm predicting the plastic will react to the cold far more than the cork side of course you would think because cork would be insulating plastic not so much might even try and think of two other variables I might throw out while I'm out there. Something that should... Oh, nah, that'll do. Bottles of beer. Coasters. Worst comes to worst, I'll sit outside and have a picnic. <laughs> Alrighty, so... It's 8.14... It's 8.13. I said 4 because 1 and 3 add to 4. So this is definitely a day of fate. 8 and 4. 4 and 8. Fate and destiny awaits. I'm going to go do this now. So I will stop this one. So this is definitely part 1. Hopefully part 2 will all be able to be done in one take. If not, keep an eye out parts three and etc. I'm excited. Let's go do this. See you on the other side. Break on through to the other side. <laughs>